this one coming down, I step. Now you can see from here, you can see from here, I step. Three times. After that, up. And step. And three times. See, that's called tiger revolve. That's the last piece of the tiger. So when I say the word massage, what do you think of? What comes to mind? For most people, when we hear the word massage, we envision two people. One person lying down on a, a massage table and the other person um, providing that massage to the person. When we think of massage, we think of massage being done to uh, us if we're thinking about getting a massage. So in this video, I want to look at the idea from a Qigong point of view because massage is very crucial. When we look at massage from the Qigong point of view, we the goal is metabolism, uh, cell replacement, blood circulation, and energy circulation as a result. These are the things that we look at when, when we look at massage. And then another, another thing that we look at is not just the muscle tissues. The belly of the muscle usually gets massage, but we look at the organs. So in this video, we look at massaging the organs. Have you ever thought about massaging the organs and why would it be crucial to massage the organs? So if you think about a muscle or a tissue, a muscle group as a sponge, the same way that you would uh, use a sponge to squeeze out liquid and absorb liquid, squeeze out and absorb, we use this same principle when it comes to the tissues and the organs of the body. How do we do this? How can we facilitate this squeeze and open in the body? I get down, you see how I squeeze it? And now I open. Actually, it's for this moment. Because everything, remember the organ we try to deal with is this area. So you're talking about this, talking about this, talking about this. There's only a few things we're talking about. The whole idea is how you squeeze it, how you stretch it, how you twist it. Only a few things. That's why they clear the forms. Don't get trapped in the hand. You're yeah, no, no. The hand and anything else only try to create it to make this space happen. Uh, but you pay attention to much hand, you ignore here. You lost the feeling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you already see, everyone have a reason. Like this one, I open <laughs> all these channels. Yeah, that's the first one. And when you turn, you already twist it. We twist you, by this muscle, the energy starts spread to the side. So amazing, created is a doctor. He's a medical doctor, he's a very famous doctor at that time, authorities. He created because he understand deeply. By that time, it's not easy. Today, much easier. By that time, it's not easy because not too many people really know. So basically what Dr. Yang is talking about is squeezing and twisting. Squeezing and twisting engages the muscles in a way that allows it to take in nutrients and expel waste. And that's really what we're asking the organs to do constantly on a day-to-day -day basis. Our torso houses this factory of all of these segmented areas and these areas have a specific job to do in order to keep the body running uh, efficiently in a, in a healthy way and to maintain um, homeostasis. This is what keeps us alive and well. So when we think of the organs in this way from this point of view, then there's an importance upon the organs that we can place that we, I think, are normally not uh, taught 
uh, to, to do, right? If you think about, let's say, exercise and health, we think about we think about cardiovascular exercise and we think about physical strength, cardio and lifting. But when we look at the body from a Chinese medical qigong point of view, we look at the organs because the organs are doing all of this work in taking in uh, oxygen, taking in food, liquid, digesting it, separating what's good, what's bad, um, processing chemicals and get getting rid of that, fat, storing fat, releasing fat, um, sugar, processing sugar, storing it or using it. All of these things we're asking the body to do constantly on a day-to-day -day basis. So what we do then in order to maintain the health of the organs is go directly to the organ and massage it. This is what the five animal sports is designed to do. Four seasons Qigong, this is what it's designed to do. And this is why Tai Chi movement is also so helpful for the body. Chinese medicine, Chinese medical Qigong looks at the organs and looks at the channels that come out of the organs and into the rest of the body and asks the question, are these channels free from obstruction? For example, are the, are the veins and the arteries free from cholesterol? Um, for the most part, we're looking at energy obstruction, but that also manifests in physical obstruction. That could be a, a tight muscle, that could be a bruise, that could be an overworked muscle or a muscle that's not worked uh, enough. And what we do is we trace back that um, to the to the organ and we look at the health of that organ and we look at maintaining that organ's health or rehabilitating that organ's health. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you an idea. Um, if you're wondering about the exercises, then um, let me know and we can start looking at the five animal sports. Five animal sports looks at the organs of the body and assigns exercises to move massage, and facilitate circulation within the organs. Talk to you soon. Take care.